latest on August 1st around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Hurricane Eric and Tropical Storm Flossie persist in the eastern Pacific. Tropical Storm Wifa has formed in the South China Sea and is making landfall in China. So far, 300, uh, th 39 storms have formed on as of August the 1st. It's day 213 of the year. 62 in the Atlantic. Uh, no systems are active here, but we are watching out for the potential development of a system in the eastern Atlantic. Day 79 in the eastern Pacific, Eric is about to pass south of Hawaii. We put it down to category 2 for the time being, holding 10 mile an hour winds. With our moving inland uh, or into the Gulf of Tonkin and the two invests out there in the western Pacific too. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time. So, the main story is still Hurricane Eric, we're giving it 110 mile an hour winds, pressure 966 millibars, this is in between National Hurricane Center advisories, their last one was 115, it's probably weakened a little bit since then, 511 miles from Hawaii, 14.7 north, 148.9 degrees west, uh, continuing in a west northwesterly direction, this is what we expect over the next few days, a further capitulation likely in the next 24 hours, uh, but we'll probably pass to the south of the Hawaiian Islands still with hurricane force winds for a little while before weakening further to tropical storm intensity, uh, but it will probably still survive until the end of the weekend when it will have cleared the islands, no warnings are in effect. Flossie has weakened somewhat unexpectedly down to 60 miles per hour and a pressure of 985 millibars and has an exposed circulation at this time, so it's not going too well for Flossie. 932 miles from Isla Clarion, Mexico, 14.1 north, 128.3 degrees west. Also expected to move in a west northwesterly direction. We do expect, and the National Hurricane Center expects, it will regain hurricane status as it enters the central Pacific. Uh, and then weaken again as it approaches the Hawaiian Islands. Again with Hawaii, could get more rainfall from this storm as well as with Eric. Tropical Storm Wiffa is just off the coast of Hainan. 40 miles per hour, pressure of 990 millibars, rather deep because it is so broad, a very wide wind field, 67 miles from Haiku, 20.2 north, 111.2 degrees east. So this system is expected to proceed towards the west um, into the Gulf of Tonkin by the end of the week down to a depression. Some models do expect re-intensification of tropical storm status during this phase, uh, but eventually it will make landfall in Vietnam and then move inland over Indochina. So this is what the wind shear looks like over Hurricane Eric right now, uh, higher than it was yesterday, it was about 15 knots yesterday, it's 20 now, so it's marginal at best and looks like wind shear is going to get worse for Eric, um, so rising up towards 25 knots, it's what's going to kill it eventually, um, as well as slowly decreasing sea surface temperatures. Looking around the world, this is what the North Atlantic looks like today. You can see that rotation in the Eastern Atlantic, quite low latitude, a very broad system there. The National Hurricane Center giving it a good chance of formation. Not sure if it's changed since the last time I checked, but it was at least 50%. Uh, it could develop into a tropical cyclone not far from the Lesser Antilles. In the Gulf of Mexico, things looking fairly quiet, but there are thunderstorms blowing up over the Yucatan, Cuba, and into parts of Florida. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, the two dominant systems, Eric and Flossie. Eric still showing that it's a rather small hurricane, Flossie much broader, uh, but it has been losing track of its circulation, of its convection in the last uh, few hours. It's starting to struggle there. Uh, elsewhere in the Eastern Pacific, very little going on. The Western Pacific has a lot more going on. Invest 93W to the east of the Mariana Islands right now. Uh, rather interesting system that could develop in about two or three days or less. 94W is somewhere near that convection in the Philippine Sea and with her, of course a very broad system as you can see there its influence extending uh, quite fast north, north and south. In the Australia and South Pacific region not too much going on here. Um, a bit of convection blowing up over Papua New Guinea and also over the Solomon Islands. The Indian Ocean is looking fairly quiet as well, uh, very little going on, a few thunderstorms popping up over Yemen by the looks of things and typical monsoonal activity over India. You can also see Wifra on the right hand side of the screen there. 
sea surface temperatures are you, you can quite clearly see Eric and Flossie's influence on those sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific they are dropping um, in the North Atlantic warming as you would expect with no storms active of course when storms do cross over those warm waters the waters do cool a little bit the Indian Ocean is still remaining fairly warm and in the Western Pacific temperatures still 30 degrees plus for a large tail there um, from the Gulf of Tonkin all the way through to the Marshall Islands I would think by now it's extending very far indeed prime for potential new storms hurricane eric looks like this on the satellite imagery you can see its progression towards the west northwest it's still got that tight core around it but really not much else uh, when you look at its um outward influence um on the northern side a bit of a band there but you can quite clearly see unless it turns very far to the north it will miss hawaii completely tropical storm flossy most of its influence and convection and winds therefore are uh, on the eastern and southeastern side uh, and ascap passes earlier weren't very impressed with it 50 knots at most and that's probably decreasing rather than increasing given its uh, its exposure uh, and tropical storm whiffer looks like this uh, still not really sure where we are with this storm ascat passes from earlier was showing of an inconclusive center of circulation but it's still blowing up an ample amount of convection and we are giving it the benefit of the doubt for tropical storm status certainly has the tropical storm force winds no doubt about that so on August the 1st, this is where we are right now. The next name in the Atlantic will be Chantal. The Eastern Pacific, Gil is the next name here. In the Central Pacific, Akoni is next up. So in the Western Pacific, now that we've had Wifa, the next name on the list is Francisco, followed by Lekima. In the North Indian Ocean, Hika is the next name on list 8. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest information. Our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text if you'd like to get in touch through any of our mediums. That's all for now. Another Tropical Weather Bulletin follows tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.